Thank you, everybody. Uh, do I need the microphone, or can you hear me? We can hear you. Good. Okay. Uh, my name is Rob Wallace. I'm the Senior Vice President of North American Sales for Pyramid Analytics. We're uh, thrilled to be here. Um, we're going to talk about our product today. Uh, we are in the self-service business intelligence uh, category. Uh, we think, like to think it's, it's really self-service BI because that's been a, a promise that's been around for many years and we think we uh, can deliver on that promise. A little bit about our company. We were founded in 2008. Uh, our development team and leadership is in Tel Aviv. Uh, our investor banking has started with our three founders and uh, in February we uh, welcomed uh, Sequoia Capital as our first outside investor. Uh, one takeaway is we are a best-in-class uh, vendor on, based on the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. And specifically, those that are familiar with the Microsoft technology, we optimize the use of their OLAP technology, which is part of the product called Secret Server. So we take the best that Microsoft has in this area and we enhance it. And that, that's, a, that's a key takeaway. One thing that we do from a design standpoint, and this starts, goes back to 2008 when we formed the company. When we get up every morning, we think about four things. We think about how to bring simplicity to a rather complex subject. How do we scale it out to thousands of users but have the intimate um, uh, simplicity of an individual uh, knowledge worker? Uh, how do we bring sophistication to a very sophisticated product, which is Microsoft's BI product? And then how do we share it broadly? So those are the, the four things that we think about all the time. When we, when we tackle a problem, from a development standpoint, we always step back and think about those four things. <coughs> we have a big idea, and it's the BI office. And the big idea is based on taking those four principles and, and putting them into four, four key buckets, which is on the left-hand side of the screen. We want to deliver, deliver self-service BI for the enterprise. And the enterprise, again, is very large, uh, billion-dollar companies, but it can be also a very small company. The thing is, if you start out small, we want to make sure that you grow. So it's self-service for the enterprise. Uh, the full site cycle of data usage. So everything in the center, the, the purple, keep the colors right, you have the purple ball. You've got shareable content. It's managed uh, centrally. But then we have different modules within our suite uh, to do different things based on the needs. So the, the first one on the top which is called uh, BioXL, is our analytical product. And that's where you build the analytical content. And then the next step is now i got the analytical content built. How do I share it broadly? So to the left is a product called BioPoint, which is dashboarding. And that's delivering the analytics, but in a dashboard format. And also a dashboard that is very easy to, uh, to work with and have the business users build their own dashboards. And as you move to the right on the BioWriter product, which is an important product, that up is, you know, dashboards are great, but some people require uh, a distribution of hard copy reports. So we take the analytics that we developed in Excel and deliver it in the BioWriter metaphor. Uh, the two products, BioXL and BioPointer, have been in market for two years, and BioWriter is being introduced in October. We've got tremendous interest for that product. And then the, 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 the fourth part of our product line of suite called BioMiner, and that brings the predictive analytics or our data mining element to our analytical platform. So that's our suite, and that's our big idea. And uh, we've had, uh, we've been in, in, in the U.S. now for a little over a year, and uh, we've, uh, we're, we've passed the 50 customer mark in the U.S. Uh, this last quarter. The other thing that was important is for when we came when we when we built the suite, we looked at what Gardner is defined as a data consumption universe, where we've got to the left you've got uh, standard reports, and then as you move to the right you've got analytics, you've got then you move you've got um, monitoring and predicting, and so with our suite of BioWriter for reporting, BioXL for analytics, BioPoint for dashboarding, BioMiner for predictive analytics, we map to that universe, and that's really how people think about approaching business intelligence in their businesses. The other uh, important concept that is working for us is, and we call it enlarging the pie. If you implement broadly BI into your businesses, the ROI is extremely high. The problem that all of us in this marketplace, starting with Microsoft, uh, 14 years ago when they really started to evolve BI for the masses, that idea, 
the classic BI has been pretty much concentrated into 20 to 30 percent of the organization. Well, so that 20 to 30 percent uh, gets a lot of value out of that. The real value is going more broadly. So again, with our design principles, how do we uh, tackle the the the, uh, the red box of the untapped users? That's been our challenge, and that's also been our success. So. As we moved into, into the U.S., we have come into situations where you have customers who have that 25% or I, we have one customer here in the New York area that has 75 of his users doing business intelligence for the rest of the 350 employees. Once they saw the capability of our dashboard and also the vision for our reporting, they've actually deployed our product to 330 users of a 390-person uh, company. That's deploying broadly and, and tapping the, the, the uh, untapped users. And so what you're doing is bringing the BI value to all of the knowledge of the organization, and the ROI just goes up tremendously. The other part of our strategy, which gets back to the blue circle, is introducing new products on that platform I discussed to, again, to further equip and enable the organization to have business intelligence uh, applications in the organization. And then the industry as a whole, the outer circle, which is the yellow circle, the industry's growing. You know, big data, we're going to hear about big data today, you know, cloud, predictive analytics, all those things are emerging markets, and our product is connected with that, that growth in the industry. So we're growing the existing base by bringing more value and more adoption, and also and just writing the, the natural growth in the business on the space. So in summary, the three products, if you look at our, this is a, a fairly technical purchase, and when people evaluate a business intelligence product, they're looking at analytics, they're looking at dashboarding, they're looking at reporting. And so the, the bullets up there really kind of capsulize and summarize the key strengths of our product. Deep, complete, and powerful analytic tools, advanced grids and charts, gauges, geospatial capability, uh, it's client driven, which means the business user really builds uh, the reports, uh, centralized business logic, all these technical things that really allow a business intelligent application to spread throughout the organization and be valuable. Dashboarding, again, is really key to pushing that out, whereas in user developed dashboards as opposed to dashboards developed by IT. And then lastly, reporting. And the key thing with reporting, uh, analytics is a very interactive process where you're having a conversation with the data and you're drilling around and, and exploring and uh, discerning um, a course of action. But there's also a need to put out uh, reports to thousands of users based on your reporting hierarchy and that can be a very manual, time consuming process. So with the BioWriter product that we're introducing soon, uh, we've also put a push engine in there where you could have an automated process of doing that last mile of distributing analytic reports. So a little quick review of the product. We have a very much a Microsoft look and feel. The product is a, is a browser-based product. There's no um, code loaded on your, on your workstation like this. It's all server-based. Uh, we really take the, the structure of what we're all used to in terms of a Microsoft metaphor with files and copy-paste and all those kinds of things that we as users are, have been used to. And then we build reports. And so the first <coughs> look and feel of uh, the BioXL product, which is again where you build content, is typically reports are built in graphs and grids together. And this, this particular report, I, I, as a user, sometimes I like to use a grid, which is the lower part. Sometimes I like to use graph, graphs. And um, there's 23 different types of graphs. So I could go on and on about all the different types of ways that you could present a product. But a report here is it's an interactive report. So one of the things that whether you're on a graph or you're on a grid, you have the ability to drill down, drill up, cross drill, drill, slice and dice, because the OLAP technology or multi-dimensional databases allow you to really spin the data and look at things in different ways. So that all of that ability is left mouse click, right mouse click, um, and, and the users take it as really fast. But this product, BioXL, you look at the ribbon across the top, it looks probably pretty familiar, it looks like Excel. And that, that, that's the metaphor that we developed to. So again, the simplicity of bringing a user interface to, to people that are familiar with the Microsoft Office Suite is a key part of our, our design. 
And then from a dashboard standpoint, now we're moving away from Excel, and we're, look, and we're going to build a dashboard, and what, what does it look like? Well, it looks like PowerPoint. We have, we, you could have unlimited number of dashboards. We, we use slides as a starting point. Then we take that slide, and we can start dividing it up into paints. In this example, I've got one, two, three, four, five paints. Um, that's an example of how you, if you take the, the art of developing a dashboard. And this is not an IT process. This is really a business process. But over on the right, I have all my content that I've developed in BioXL. I simply drag and drop and ports and graphs and slicers and things to, to build something in minutes for how I want to look at things. And I could also have uh, content that is for the enterprise. I could also have a dashboard either a separate dashboard or slides that are also unique to me as a user. So that's that's an example of how you take an organization that starts with 75 users in BI and goes to in excess of 300 or 3x because of the, the ease of use and the visualization of building things quickly. And then when I'm all done, this is an example of a finished dashboard, and I could take this dashboard and I can make it look totally different than this. This is just an example. And that's, again, people embrace software if they have the freedom to make it look the way they want it to look. And so that we spent a tremendous amount of time uh, equipping and enabling our the business user base to, to do exactly that. And lastly, the, the BioWriter, again, was coming out in October. It has, it, the metaphor changes now from PowerPoint. Now we move into a word look like. So it looks like what it is. It's, it's, it's a word user interface, which again, we're all used to. I'm simply dragging and dropping the content that I've developed in BioXL. And then I also have the ability to generate text. In fact, I can automatically generate dynamic text by linking business rules to the numbers. And so as the numbers change, the story or the narrative changes. So that is a huge time saver uh, for those folks that have to put together reporting books in some industry that's, a, that's never going to go away. They want a fixed uh, board level graphical report, and that BioWriter is designed to do that. And then lastly, as part of um, BioWriter, is a scheduling and distribution tool where, again, you go into many organizations where you're dealing with analytics. To push that report out, it's just a tremendous amount of manual work. And it's kind of where people fall down on that last mile. So we've taken time to, to finish the job, put that last mile in, and push out reports based on uh, security and role uh, rules, and um, also building the hierarchy into the, into the software where things can be automatically pushed out to hundreds of thousands of people uh, very quickly. So thanks uh, for this time. We really appreciate being here today. <coughs> so again, BI Office, that's our big idea, and uh, we're looking forward to meeting all of you uh, later.